Hi! Uh, hey! <laughs> Welcome to the Lizard Life! I'm Elizabeth Liz or Lizard, depending on how you know me. And, um, a little over a year ago, I attempted to start this YouTube channel. Uh, obviously that didn't work out, but I did film a bunch of footage that I intended to be my first video. So I thought it might be fun to watch that now. It's a little bit cringy, but, um, weren't we all a year ago? <laughs> anyway, let's watch it. Hi! Welcome to the Lizard Life. And also, welcome to probably the first video that's gonna make it past editing. <laughs> On this channel, we are creative. And we make art with drawing, painting, singing, dancing, acting, being silly. That's not really art. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sculpting, making clothing, making music, storytelling. If you call it art, I probably love doing it. And today, I am making a circle skirt. So here's the sitch. My sister's wedding is coming up in about a month, and I'm a bridesmaid, obviously. <laughs> um, she gave me three qualifications. The color, obviously. And it has to be modest by her standards, which means at least, you know, short sleeves, and it has to go to at least the knees. Now, I was thinking of just buying a dress, finding a dress and just buying it, but she gave me kind of a weird color, so I wasn't sure if I could actually find something. It's like a kind of a mustardy color, which I don't normally wear, but whatever. So then I thought I would make a dress. And then I remembered just how expensive <laughs> fabric is. So what I ended up doing was going to my local thrift store and buying a shirt. I found one with long sleeves, but that's all right. I'll cut them and make it look all pretty. And then I also, thank goodness, found fabric at the thrift store, which was way cheaper than finding some at an actual fabric store, and I will be using that to make a circle skirt. And I plan on putting pockets in, so wish me luck. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so the first step is to measure myself and to do math. I don't remember exactly what the math is, but I will let you know in a minute. So first, we take our tape measure. And I'm just going to measure around where I want the skirt to sit. It's going to be kind of high-waisted. So that is 33 inches. So I'll just write that down. And then I need to measure from where the skirt will sit down to my knee. And that is 24 inches. So, so now I just need to do the math, and I will see you in a minute and tell you all about it. <laughs> Surprise! This is current day Lizard doing a voiceover. I was always planning on doing a voiceover, but it kind of never happened. But, uh, <laughs> here we go. First of all, I've got my supplies, the tape measure, the ribbon, a pencil, and some scissors. And as you can see, I've got my fabric set out on the floor there. I had it folded in half so that I could easily cut circles. In terms of the math, I thought I had written down the equations. I guess I didn't, but I did keep the web page where I found the equations up on a page on my phone for this whole time. <laughs> um, so I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, as you can see here, I've got this safety pin and my tape measure. I'm literally poking the safety pin through the tape measure and the fabric to the floor. 
so that I can use it as a compass to draw my half circle for the waistline. In order to figure out that size, again, I'll put the link to that web page in the description. But anyway, I figured out how, like, what size I needed to make the waistline, drew that out, and then cut it. So now that I've got that all marked out, I'm going in with the scissors! Okay. Watching back through this footage from a year ago is making me feel some kind of way. It's like a little bit nostalgic, a little bit like, oh, there's so much I didn't know yet. Like, this is so close to when I figured out that I'm a lesbian. And it's just kind of really weird to look back and literally see myself before the, before I figured that out. It's really strange to watch. I just think it's so funny that it stands up on its own because it's such a stiff fabric. Next, I put on the skirt. Oh, I didn't show that I had cut a slit into it for a zipper. Um, here I am pinning the skirt around myself so that I can figure out... Um, I decided to add like a wide waist that would just be like straight. It gave me a really cute silhouette. I decided that I wanted that waistband to be three, <laughs> three inches tall. And then we started on a liner for the skirt. I was living with my in-laws at the time, and my mother-in-law does a lot of quilting and saves a lot of fabric. And, um... These are actually old dress shirts. I don't know whose they were at originally, but um, I have a lot of brothers-in-law, so could be a number of people. Obviously, at this time, they were no longer in use, but the fabric was still good, so I was able to use them as an underskirt. Here I am, lying them out to figure out how much I would need. Then I cut off the fabric I wanted to use as the skirt. Kind of didn't care what it would look like, because, again, it's an underskirt. Um, here we are, just cutting out the shape. I was also singing along to Broadway music, I believe. At the time of filming this clip, I was singing Agony from uh, Into the Woods. <laughs> Cut them so that they match a little bit better. Cutting, 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 cutting. And they match! Magic! And then I sewed up the underskirt. It's pretty straightforward. And then I attached it to the main skirt. Here we're sewing a waistband on. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself because I did not know what I was doing. I was just kind of doing it. Pinning the zipper on. Um. I ended up having some trouble with that zipper. Like, it went on really well, and then there was, like, weird holes in weird places, and you'll see later that it didn't sit flat on my butt, which, for some reason, I didn't have an issue with at the time. Um, I still have that skirt, and I'm planning on altering it so that it'll sit a little nicer later. And, um, I was watching Disney's Descendants while I was 
doing the bulk of the sewing. Uh, <laughs> at the time, I didn't understand quite why I like those movies so much. Now I realize 100% that it is because I had a crush on Evie. Yeah. <laughs> so in order to make sure the bottom edge of the skirt would be nice, I cut little triangles out of the skirt and folded the edges over so that um, it would sit nicely. Here you can see me sewing up the pinned sections. Here I am just roughly drawing out the shape that I want for the pockets. Um, I made them pretty big because I'm a girl and I understand that we don't have big pockets and it sucks. Then I folded the fabric over and cut. That was quite an adventure. I ended up sewing one whole pocket in, realizing I did it completely wrong, unstitching it, sewing it again, and then realizing that there was an easier way to do it for the second one. <laughs> the skirt is done! Um, so I just like washed it and ironed it. I think the zipper turned out really well. And I'm happy with the pockets. And I, it just feels really cute. And here is the final outfit. It, I'm still so happy with how it turned out. Um, there are still some flaws with the skirt, but it's very cute, and I felt like a little kid spinning around outside in it, so it's a win-win. <laughs> Editing that was not as easy as I expected it to be. For some reason, a lot of the video was being sped up while the audio was staying the same and like it was just so much of a hassle um i did film an outro a year ago which is cute but i can't get the audio and the video to match and it's just not worth it anymore at this point so we're doing an outro now <laughs> um the wedding reception turned out so fun. I really enjoyed um, being a bridesmaid. I definitely want to do that more often in the future. Oh wow, this is my second video that revolves around a wedding. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I had a ton of fun. I was in charge of the bachelorette party, and that was the best party I've ever thrown. Um, and I was kind of in charge of decorating the reception, and that was so fun. I just, I really enjoyed being a part of this wedding. So thank you, Mary and Scottish boy, and happy anniversary, even though that was like a week ago now. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want to. That would be cool. Um... And I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye! She gave me three... Oh, she... I forgot the word!